Animal Production Systems Aims of Lesson At the end of the lesson you should know and understand the following content. Description and Comparison of Intensive and Extensive Animal Production Systems the differences between small-scale slash subsistence farming and large-scale slash commercial farming systems. Examples of intensive farming productions. Factors to increase animal production during intensive farming, broiler production. Nutrition slash feed. Environment. Reproduction slash breeding and. General Business Management Examples of Extensive Farming Productions Factors to Increase Animal Production Under Extensive Farming Conditions Beef Production Nutrition Slash Feed Environment Reproduction and General Production Branch Management Introduction Learning content that has been dealt with in previous grades must be in line with the current content that will be dealt with now, Grade 12 Term 1 Week 5, Types of Feed. The purpose of this lesson is to cover the content related to animal production systems. Concepts and Skills Animal Production Systems Intensive and Extensive Animal Production Intensive animal production is to keep animals under high population densities in controlled environments and to feed them fully balanced rations to increase productivity. Extensive animal production is to keep animals in large camps on natural felt and allow them to find their own food and shelter. I our own food and shelter. Extensive subsistence production. Intensive commercial production. Goal minimization of risk maximization of profit. Investments sheep kept in the carrow or cattle. The bush veld area. Poultry farm or large dairy production. Characterized by specialization and automation. Breeds low, optimizes investments rather than production. High, maximum production. Purpose of Animal Production Food, Fiber, Fertilizer and Fuel Support for the Social Network and Culture Production of Food for Sale Employment Effect on Environment Sustainable Use of Vegetation and Resources that have no other use. High use of energy, production of large amounts. Of animal waste. Labor little mechanization on limited. Number of laborers. Capital intensive, labor intensive, combined with. Mechanization. Flexibility high low. Dependence on inputs from outside, low high, market, orientation, low high, subsistence farming and commercial production. Subsistence farming or small-scale formingers where a family produces only enough to support the family, without surplus products to sell or trade with. This type of farming does not contribute to the economy of a country, 
but provides food for a family. Commercial farming or large-scale farming is where a farm or company produces products that can be sold at a profit. This type of farming contributes to the economy of a country. Subsistence farming, commercial farming, cash crop farming. Cash crop farmers are also small-scale farmers, but they produce more crops than are needed to feed their families. They sell the surplus, extra products, and receive cash for it. They use this money to improve the farm or increase the family's standard of living. Sometimes they will grow a cash crop, such as cotton or peanuts, to sell and not to use themselves. The advantages of this system are the following. The farming equipment is not expensive. All the family members usually help with the farm work. There is close contact between the farmer, the soil and the crop, so the farmer knows exactly what is going on. The farmer can pay attention to individual plants, remove diseased plants and select the best. Plant seeds for the next season. The disadvantages of a manual labor farming system are the following. Certain tasks take a long time to complete. The area that a family can cultivate is limited. The work is labor-intensive. Examples of intensive farming. Laying hens in chicken coops, broilers in broiler houses, pigs in units, fish in aquaculture production. Dairy cows and cattle in feedlots are examples of animals in intensive animal production. Factors that increase intensive farming production. Nutrition slash feed. Intensive farming production gives almost all feed to the animal in a complete ration. This ration is formulated to meet the animal's maintenance and production requirements. Farmers adjust the feed and nutrient components based on the type of production and the growth. Phase The feed conversion ratio, FCR, is very important in the intensive animal production industry. Environment the environment in intensive production systems can be partially or fully controlled. An example of a partially controlled environment is a feedlot. The animals are under a roof that provides shelter from direct sunlight and rain, but the temperature, ventilation and relative humidity RH, are not controlled. An example of a fully controlled environment is an environmentally controlled broiler house. Reproduction slash breeding. Animals in intensive production are selected for high rates of production and reproduction. For example, Meat farmers choose fast-growing animals and animals with good carcass quality, such as fat. Depth and feed conversion efficiency. They will also select female animals with high fertility. Wool farmers choose sheep with good wool quality and high fertility. Dairy farmers choose animals with a high milk yield or the desired butterfat content. Crossbreeding A farmer can increase production in meat type farm animals through crossbreeding. Crossbreeding occurs when male and female animals of different breeds mate and produce. Offspring Crossbred offspring will have a higher average daily increase. ADG than purebred animals. DT is the average daily increase in body weight of an animal over a given period of time. 
For example, if an animal gains 32 kilograms in weight over 40 days, the ADG of that animal will be 32 kilograms. Slash 40 days equals 0.8 kilograms per day. General Farm Management The management of an intensive production system is very specialized and labor-intensive, and is determined by the size of the enterprise. An intensive production system is not affected by cycles determined by seasons or availability, so management practices such as the following year-round can be applied. Mating Pregnancy Parturition Weaning Selection Vaccination and general handling of animals Factors to increase extensive farming production Nutrition slash feed an animal should always be given enough feed for maintenance purposes. The farmer must add land supplementing nutrition during different stages to increase production if the natural grazing is not enough. Here are some examples. Stimulus nutrition and supplemental nutrition for mating. Before weaning, Farmers can provide creep feed to lambs. Supplementary nutrition during the late gestation period. In the dry season the nutritional value of the lick will be higher than in the rainy season too. Supplement the weaker grazing. During the final phase before slaughter, the leek can also be supplemented with an additional energy source, such as maize, to help make the carcass fatter. Environment Animals in extensive farming conditions find their own food and water. The farmer must make sure that there is enough food available for grazing and that water is available within walking distance. Water reservoirs can provide drinking water for animals and maintain groundwater resources. Farmers must take the environment into account when selecting animals and breeds for farming. Ambient temperatures have a significant impact on productivity. Natural predators such as jackals, caracals, and leopards can cause huge economic losses to the farmer. Theft of animals is a major problem in extensive farming. Reproduction slash breeding. Animals within the herd can be selected for higher production and certain reproductive characteristics. Selection criteria are largely determined by market trends. The farmer can, for example, Choose sheep for an increase in wool production or for finer wool. Cattle and beef sheep can be selected for growth, build, high fertility, high birth and weaning. Weight and good feed conversion efficiency. Build refers to the overall build of the body when an animal is selected. It is usually judged according to four units, namely WP physique, legs and size. General business management. The following are the most important aspects in the management of extensive production. Infrastructure, including maintenance, the fences around all the camp speeds and pressure. Passages where animals are handled, water troughs, wind pumps and electric water pumps. Natural resources, for example the felt, natural and planted pastures, water and soil. Animals A basic animal management program can be divided into five phases. Mating phase, the farmer must make sure there are enough rams or bulls for mating, 
3% to 5% of the herd must be rams. Pregnancy phase, animals should be kept calm and on their own as far as possible. Partition phase, animals should be monitored for body condition score and weight gain. I any handling of animals should be done calmly. Parturition to weaning phase, young animals are castrated and their tails removed when necessary. At the same time, the animals are marked for identification purposes as required by law. Weaning phase, the offspring are taken away from their mothers and selected to be included in the herd or slaughtered activity slash assessment. Teachers must work out activities on the given content and provide them to the learners. Answer the relevant questions in your answer series in your homework or exercise book. Page 43, Question 1. 63. Learners can also use the following sources of information to do activities. Relevant Grade 12 Textbooks. Explore Test Book Grade 12. Mind the Gap Agricultural Sciences Grade 12. Pass Agricultural Science Grade 12. Previous grade November 12th examination papers. Consolidation The lesson covers the latest content as prescribed by the CAPS document. Values by studying this lesson, you should be able to. The description and comparison of intensive and extensive animal production systems and the Differences between small-scale slash subsistence farming and large-scale slash commercial farming systems. To know and understand. Learners must understand what is covered in the content in order to be able to answer questions. Successfully and they use the necessary skills. Learners will be able to use the knowledge and skills as a basis for progress towards animal shelter, protection, and housing in week 7. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more future educational videos.